So I'm Randy Henning here at Mofoco. And I'm Roy Henning. And we've been building Volkswagen engines here since 1969. I think I've been building since about 1990 maybe. So we're going to give you a shop tour today and show you what we've been doing for the last 45 years. Hopefully I'll only be doing this for five more and then Roy can do it for 50. Here we have three engines that we're working on right now that are going to be going to Canada. These are actually used as water pumps. They're made by the, uh, the company up in Canada. They're mounted to a trailer and then they're adapted to pump water for, uh, for fire engines. And so these three engines are going to be going to Canada. This is our fourth order with the company. And uh, we are now the exclusive supplier uh, using our Mofoco uh, hydraulic lifters, which do not require any valve adjustment at all. And using our uh, as cast cylinder heads, which cool better than any other cylinder heads on the market. Okay, here we have our cylinder head CNC machine where the Mofoco is the only company in the entire United States that manufactures cylinder air-cooled cylinder heads from bare castings to a finished head all in the United States. Most other companies start off somewhere outside the United States, bring their product in and, do, and finish it here. Here we're machining raw castings on our heads and then after this, it goes to the next room to get all the hand work done uh, to the finished product uh, to what we send out. This here is our Sunnen connecting rod hone. This is the first job I ever had at Mofoco when I was 12 years old. I sat behind this machine for an entire summer. So imagine what you did when you were a kid on your summer vacation. This is what I did on my summer vacation. However, I still know how to do it and I've been doing it for the last 25 years. So we take an original Volkswagen connecting rod and we resize the big end, we resize the small end, we use this to do the finish honing and then we use this to measure to make sure that everything is the exact correct size. Since the aftermarket fan shrouds do not have holes or mounts for the coil brackets, we are putting in time certs is what it's called and that way that you don't have to screw directly into the uh, sheet metal and so this will give you this which you can screw directly in which then will not rip out ever. So this is how we do this because the uh, aftermarket shrouds do not come equipped with this. Here I'm mounting uh, a cylinder head on our Sunnen VGS20 uh, cylinder, or, excuse me, valve grinding machine. And what we do here is I cut the holes for the seats and then after the seats are installed, I also do the valve job on here. So this is exactly what we do. This machine is uh, kind of an outdated machine, but for what we do, this machine is exactly what we need. After our cylinder heads are complete, after everything is done, all the valves are installed, everything's ready to go, we do one final check on our vacuum tester here. And what this is going to tell me is whether the valve is sealing to the seat using air pressure. And this one seals at 100%. Mofoco makes the only drop-in hydraulic lifters available on the market today. Now what I mean by that is that all standard type one Volkswagens have solid lifters where you have to adjust the valves. We wanted to make it so you don't have to adjust the valves anymore. So we take a standard lifter, we bore out the inside of the lifter, then I use the Sunnen machine to finish hone to the correct size. I drill one extra oil hole and then I insert the, the uh, the hydraulic uh, mechanism with a uh, snap ring and so what this is is this is a drop-in hydraulic lifter and then requires no valve adjustment whatsoever. Here we have our CNC turning center this is uh, where we start off making the hydraulic lifters where we bore them out the first time the primary use for this though is that we take a flywheel that looks like this and we make the flywheel look like this. This flywheel is actually a lightened 12 pound flywheel that we took down from the standard 16 pounds and it's CNC balanced when it comes off of the machine. Here we have one of our two crankshaft grinders along with the third one which is our camshaft grinder. Here we can grind any standard Volkswagen crankshaft or any stroker crankshaft. We can basically grind any crankshaft here. Uh, but these, uh, these two machines are for grinding cranks. We got one for grinding camshafts which we do all in house. Okay, here's an example of our four different cylinder heads right here. Uh, a lot of people talk about CNC porting the chambers and CNC porting. Uh, we don't have to do that because our heads are cast correctly from the manufacturer. So here's a stock 040 head with our stock intake port, which is about an inch and three eighths. Now you come to our 042 heads, which haven't had any work done to them. 
and instantaneously the ports go up to about an inch and a half. So when you get our heads, when you buy our, our larger valved heads, there are already larger ports in the head. You don't need to do any porting. And then as an example, we do do some extra porting though, to where we'll take out the intake and exhaust guide bosses and make the chamber much smoother to give it more flow. So as the heads come from us, they are perfect to put on your motor. However, you can do more work to them to get more power out of them. And then also we have the 050 head, which has a unique D-shaped intake port design to which if you match port your intake manifolds, you'll get an even better flow out of the head. So here's one of our major differences between our heads and everybody else's heads. As you can see in the back here, these are the cooling fins that are pretty stock to most other aftermarket heads. Then if you look at the Mofoco head, the Mofoco head has added more and thicker cooling fins on the back side where it's much more pronounced. And then also on the front side, we have more and thicker cooling fins right here compared to right here. What this then equates to is that our head cools 10 to 20% better than a stock head because it has more aluminum, so there's more aluminum to dissipate heat quicker and also more fins to direct the air away from the cylinder heads. This is one of our four KT180 Kearney and Trekker 180 CNC machines and this machine is a dedicated machine for machining on engine cases. Now what that includes is, but not limited to, uh, boring up the holes for larger cylinders. We can also drill and tap to put the uh, inserts into older cases. Um, we can machine on the top here. Uh, we can machine on the bottom. We can basically repair almost any German Volkswagen engine case or do any added uh, value to the engine case after it's already been sent to us. Okay, here we are in our parts department, and uh, what we specialize in our parts department is basically all of the air-cooled uh, replacement parts. Uh, so we buy from the big vendors, MP, CB, IAP, um, all those guys. We buy and resell stuff. Our specialty here, all, although our specialty here is actually making product and actually doing services on your products. So you can actually send in your case, send in your heads, send in your connecting rods, send in your cam, your crank, your flywheel. We can remachine everything that you have and send it back to you so that you can assemble your engine, engine yourself. We can also assemble your engine with your parts as well. People can bring in their transmissions We'll test drive your transmission, figure out what's wrong with it, and then rebuild your transmission and send it back out. And the other services that we provide that really are our specialty are building engines and building cylinder heads. Um, like I said before, we are the only place that makes air-cooled cylinder heads aftermarket 100% in the United States. We start from a block of aluminum and to the finished product of your cylinder head. We also assemble engines here. And one of the main things that we do with assembling engines is that we don't just build engines for cars. That's what most people think. People use these engines, and this isn't limited to, there's so many uses for these different engines. Like I said, the ones that we're out there right now are using for, uh, for water pumps. We have other ones that are air pumps. We have uh, engines in, uh, we are actually the exclusive uh, builder for the Chicago Parks District of their Zamboni ice cleaners. Use the, uh, the, use the Volkswagen uh, engines. We also build airplane engines as well. We also build heads for uh, airplanes, uh, for kit planes. Uh, so there's a lot of uses for these engines, not just in a car. Um, you've also got the off-road vehicles, sand rails, dune buggies, you've got drag cars, um, you've got weekend cars, you've got daily drivers. So pretty much if you need anything to do with air-cooled, we're your place. Yeah, for more information, you can always go to our website, which is mofoco.com. Uh, for like up to the minute, up to the day uh, stats on what we're doing every day, you can actually go to our Facebook page. We try and update it every day with something that we're building that day. Um, and then you can also just call us on the phone as well. So any which one of those ways to get a hold of us, um, you can always see what we're doing. And then you can also ask us questions as well.